I'm sure from that clip you can see exactly what I'm thinking. So, buy slip rollers, roll steel, sell slip rollers. That's going to work right? Advice needed. That's where I'm going, back out to the hive mind again. So I think what I'm going to do today is spend a little bit more time on the internet so I can decide and do some research on what is the best approach with my current problem. We should surely come up with an answer, can't we? I'm just sat in the car for a few minutes, picked up some beautiful time lapse. I'm in a little village called Eton, which is on the way back from McDonald's for us. <laughs> Gemma's taken the dog for a quick walk along the riverside, the riverside that I've just been filming there on, on the time lapse at the start of the video. So just quickly, I thought I'd reflect again on the fact that finding somebody to fabricate these steel cylinders for me is much more difficult than I anticipated and I've no idea why anybody who's going to spend 200 to 300 pound on getting something rolled would not invest in some slip rollers so I think the decision is to purchase some I just need to be pointed I've watched loads of videos on YouTube about using slip rollers and pyramid rollers but there aren't any there that show you how to make some. Because I did consider making some. I think we'll I think we'll be purchasing though. Right, anyway, I can see him walking up. We'll have to get ready to set off home. I really fancy some Italian for dinner tonight. Don't know her name yet. I've just done a two minute piece to camera with the autofocus off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if that previous piece was a little bit blurry, the autofocus was off after the time lapse oh, capture. Hey up. So mummy's just ran in to drop chance off and then we're going to go to Morrison's. Is that alright with you, Abby? Is that a yes? You're sultry today, aren't you? It about killed me all this driving, so we've been to Rotherham, Morrison's in Rotherham, and Tesco in Rotherham. I don't know why, because we haven't really bought anything, apart from some chewing gum. So now we're outside Gemma's mum's house, picking Dominic up to take him back home. He's been here most of the weekend, and then Gemma's off to work at the pub. She's going to have a grand day this evening, I'm sure. Welcome home, Dom. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Fine. Right, I know it's Marston's. But it was like 16 quid, and I haven't got any beer in the house. So I got this. Worst things have happened at sea, right? <laughs> Did you get it, shipyard? You're freezing cold, Gems. I'm freezing cold, got earache. You've got what? Earache? Earache. Oh, you know how I feel. <laughs> I know it's Marston's. But tonight I'm gonna be cooking meat the ball. Mando spaghetti. No vegetarian option. And uh, I got pulled up as well yesterday's video for saying you can have cilantro instead of coriander. <laughs> oh, I did laugh. I thought it was fennel. I just said cilantro in the recipe. I'd never heard of it before. Anyway, let's have one of these. So if you've ever had a beer out of a mini keg before, you don't want to open the top right away but rather pull out the tap because it's pressurised. So, way, Bobby! <laughs> right, because it's pressurised, like I said. So this is just going to knock all the CO2 
out of the beer, we have a lovely, lovely pint of foam. But that's what you're going to get until the pressure's gone. It even tells you on the can. You're going to have a lot of foam, but don't worry, because it'll settle out. Yes, today resulted in a different day than I planned, really. Not that I planned any, anything today. Shipyard IPA. No, it's not bad for Marston's. So I'm not going to bore you with a cooking show this evening because we're out of a jar. Yes, we're out of a jar. Maybe another day. Maybe another day. But tomorrow we do have a few things in store. I found a company online called CJ Machinery. Anyone knows anything about this company, get in touch with me and let me know. Are they good? Are they bad? Do they exist? But on their website, they're advertising some slip rollers for sub £500, including that, for like five inch diameter rollers. Uh, and the length is four foot. I think it looks really promising, so I'm going to call them tomorrow. So we're maybe having a trip out. I think they were based in Clack Eaton or something like that. We might be having a trip out. But fail that, we'll be digging around and trying to find somebody to supply with some slip rollers because I've decided that if I can roll my own, hey, <laughs> roll my own, then I'll be better off and at the end of it I can also sell the rollers. I think I mentioned that. But that's the plan anyway tomorrow guys. It's Sunday, I'm not doing too much vlogging because I want to sit down with the kids and watch The Greatest Showman with a nice of spaghetti and a meatball. And uh, that was slightly... Hungarian, I think, and a pint of shipyard. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Yeah.